Hello and welcome back. In today's video, we are going to discuss about how to construct a dynamic cash flow diagram using Microsoft Excel, where we have the cash inflow. Besides that, we have the outflow or the expenses of the project shown in the same chart. On top of that, we have the cumulative funds for the project and the cumulative expenses of the project shown as in here. And besides that, we have one of the main indicators of the project, which is the net present value of the project. And for your information, the content of this chart are fully dynamic. For example, if I go and change any of the values in here, everything in here should change. For example, let's increase this amount to 20,000. And let's see what happens. I'll write down 20,000 in here. As you can see, the net present value of our project, and besides that, the chart automatically updated. This video was requested by Muhammad who commented on another video about creating cash flow charts in Microsoft Excel which is available in the Microsoft Excel playlist of this YouTube channel. He said that, can you please make a video on long cash flow diagrams where both inflow and outflows are there. At the end of that supposed diagram, net present worth is calculated. So in here, I am going to respond to this comment by creating this video where I will create this dynamic cash flow diagram. Besides that, I have the dynamic net present value indicator in here as well. In the previous video which I created for cash flow diagrams, I have worked from scratch where to get these numbers from. So it will be helpful for you if you are interested in further exploring the cash flow diagrams to refer to that video as well. For this video, we will focus on creating a dynamic cash flow diagram with an indicator and having the cumulative values on that. So let's get started. In here, as you can see, we have the dates, the category of the cost. Besides that, we have the amount which is incoming into the project and the amount that's utilized and used in the project. For the cumulative income, we have the cumulative values in this column. So for this one, I'll write down equal sign, sum, open parenthesis, I'll select this cell, and then press a 4 in order to make the first row absolute. And the range will be up to the cell itself. So in here, what happens is the first row is locked in here, and the second row will move as we drag this down. So I'll press enter. Now I'll drag it down up to the last row. So as you can see in here, we have the cumulative value for each of the dates. Same will apply for the cumulative expenses. The only difference is that the expenses are located in the column D. So what I will do is I'll drag it to the right. And since in here we have the C locked, I will replace the C with the D and enter. Now I'll apply it on the whole column. And as you can see, the expenses will be shown in here. In the next stage, I'll select the date, I'll select these values, and I'll go to insert. From here, I'll plot the column chart. I'll go to change chart type, I'll go to combo. From here, for the cumulative income, it will be line and it should be plotted on secondary axis. Same should apply for cumulative expenses. And then, I'll click OK. I'll make this a little bit bigger and Increase the height of this chart and remove the values from both of the axes. And I can remove these lines. The next thing is to add indicators to our chart which are dynamic. In order to add those indicators, what I will do is first of all, I'll calculate the net present value of the project and then add it to the chart. In order to calculate the net present value, what I will do is I'll copy the headers from here and paste it into the sheet that I newly created. For the amount of income, I'll write down equal sign and I'll go to the previous sheet and I'll select this value and press enter. Then what I will do is I'll drag it up to our last value. For the expenses in reality, as you know, for the expenses, as you know, the expenses are shown with a negative sign, while the incoming cash is shown with a positive sign. But in here, for the sake of the cash flow diagram, I have shown both with a positive sign because if the expenses were shown in a negative sign, the length of these columns would have been extended downwards and the cash flow diagram wouldn't look something like this. 
cumulative income in cash would have been shown like this and the cumulative expenses would have been shown with a curve like this. So in order to avoid this, I have assumed for this one a positive sign. And now in reality, when we want to calculate the net present value, what I will do is, in here I'll write down equal sign minus, and I'll go to the previous sheet, I will select the first cell of our expenses. I press enter, and then I will drag it up to the last value. So I'll remove the blanks from here, and I'll select these, I'll change them to currency, I'll decrease the decimal places to zero. In order to calculate the NPV of this cash flow, I'll write down equal sign in here. Write down NPV, open parenthesis. The rate will be, for example, let's assume it is 7%, comma, and I'll select the values in this range and press enter. Our NPV will be calculated. Now, in order to have it on our chart, what I will do is go to insert from here. I'll insert the text box. I'll draw the text box in here. In the function bar in here, I'll write down equal sign. Go to sheet 4, select this value and press enter. So in here, if you make any changes, for example, let's make this again 15,000. As you can see, the net present value, the chart, and everything will be updated. I hope you found the content of the video helpful. If you did so, consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and following us on Instagram and LinkedIn. Thank you very much for watching.